Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Trapper here to break down a Thursday night football game between the 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks and a fairly tightly lined game right now. We've got the 49ers favored by three and a half points on the road at the time that I'm recording this as you come in, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now I have to uh, make this as a caveat before I record. I don't know who the hell is starting quarterback for the 49ers today. The position has just been a mess for them as of late. We knew coming into the year, Trey Lance, he was expected to be the starting quarterback. He gets hurt and he's out for the year. In steps Jimmy Garoppolo. He plays fairly decently. He gets hurt. He's out for the year. And then we get Brock Purdy, the seventh round pick for the 49ers. He takes over last week. To be honest, he looked really good. I was pretty impressed with Brock Purdy. And when Jimmy G first got hurt, I actually had placed a bet on the Miami Dolphins in that game against the 49ers. Thinking like, okay, we've got the 49ers here down to the third string quarterback. This could be problematic for them. And Purdy's played pretty well during the time he's been on the field. But now here's the issue. He's the one with an oblique injury. And he's questionable to play tonight. We don't know if he's going to be active or not. If he's out, Josh Johnson is going to be the San Francisco 49ers QB. The whole situation is a total mess. And... I just don't know who's going to be starting quarterback for them at the time I am recording. So just want to throw that information out here uh, before I start recording, just so you guys know that that is the the information I'm dealing with at the time that I'm going through the props for tonight. Uh, but if anything changes later on in the day or we get some more clarity, I'll be in our Discord channel. You get one week free access by clicking on the link below. And if there's anything I talk about here that I don't like anymore or something else pops up, I like... I'll make sure to add everybody in the Discord channel so they get all of the updates with tonight's game. But uh, let's break down this spot to uh, just a couple of props that I'm going to be betting on here. And at the time of recording, there, there are not even that many props available because of the uncertainty with the quarterback position for the 49ers. But these are the two props that I like based on what I'm working with right now. So to start us off here, I'm trying to take advantage of the uncertainty with the 49ers quarterback situation, betting the over rushing yards for Christian McCaffrey. The mark is 77 and a half. We actually have him projected for 94.8 over at Odd Shopper. And I just think a lot of this aligns for the 49ers. Just run the ball with Christian McCaffrey on the ground because he's coming off a really, really strong game. Probably his best game on the ground of the entire season against the Tampa Buccaneers. 14 carries for 119 yards. That was good for eight and a half yards per carry. Also scored a touchdown. And that was in a fairly difficult matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is a much easier matchup that he has tonight against the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle, 21st overall in defensive DVOA, but 26th in rush defense DVOA. So this should be a really easy matchup for Christian McCaffrey. And there's a couple scenarios here. If Josh Johnson starts a quarterback, I expect the 49ers to want to run the ball a whole bunch and not want to put the ball in Josh Johnson's hands. But even if Brock Purdy starts, how healthy is he? Is he 100%? Is he 80%? Is he 50%? It doesn't seem like he's going to be totally at full health. That would also lend itself to Christian McCaffrey running the ball more. So divisional rivalry matchup here. The 49ers could really seal the division away with the win tonight. And I think they're going to want to do it on the back of Christian McCaffrey, given the uncertainty at the quarterback position. So I'm betting Christian McCaffrey over 77 and a half rushing yards. So while there's uncertainty with the NFL game tonight, I'm going to give you guys a really easy way to make $150 tonight because we're sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook here. And when you sign up at DK Sportsbook using our link, you're going to make $150 on your first $5 money line bet as long as it wins. So here's what I did. I've looked through all of the games for all the different sports tonight, and I found the safest bet to win, and that's the Colorado men's college basketball team. They are minus 6,000 favorites, so they're going to win basically a lock, and it's an easy way for you to make $150 because all you are going to have to do is click on the link we have below, and then you place a $5 bet on Colorado, and when they win, DraftKings Sportsbook is going to pay you out $150. So if you haven't signed up at DraftKings yet, take advantage of the opportunity. Click on the link below and make $150 on Colorado tonight. So while Christian McCaffrey in the 49ers offense finds himself in an easy matchup, the same can't be said on the other side of the game because the 49ers defense is one of the best in the NFL, putting the Seahawks in a pretty difficult situation. We've got the 49ers second overall in defensive DVOA and top five in both rush and passing defensive DVOA. As a result, I'm going to be betting Geno Smith for under 21 and a half passing completions. And I think there's a couple of things that we should look at this. Number one, like I just said, the matchup is really difficult for Geno Smith. But then the other aspect of this as well is that if we do see the 49ers look to run the ball more frequently tonight, which I think is going to be the case considering their quarterback situation, it's just going to lead to a really low scoring game with not as many possessions involved. That's also going to mean less opportunities for Geno Smith to really be able to throw the football and rack up passing completions. So with all that in mind and the uncertainty that's involved in this game with the quarterbacks, 
I'm going to look at Geno Smith and take him for under 21 and a half pass completion. So just a couple of bets for me for Thursday night football. I've got Christian McCaffrey over 77 and a half rushing yards and then Geno Smith under 21 and a half pass completions. Anything that changes throughout the day, I'll be updating in the Discord channel. Any of these bets no longer stand out later in the day because of changes with the 49ers QB situation. I'll be there in Discord. You could find access to that one week for free by clicking on the link below. But also, guys, do me a big favor before you leave. Like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck and enjoy the game tonight.